step forward with that weight. <laughs> Ooh, it hurts. And Coley seems uncertain as to what it is he wants to try to counter. Coley trying to stick the jab to Delaware's guard there. He commits to that one after simply pawing with the first three. Yeah, the rule is you go two, two jabs to the body, get the guy to drop his hand a little bit, and you come on top of the right hand. There's a good but, left jab but by Coley. Coley is doing it with the jab. Jab low, left, low, low, and then come up high. Oscar, for the moment, has stopped throwing punches. That allows Coley to begin to develop a rhythm with his left jab. now should look for a little bounce in his legs again. Hard left hook landed upstairs. Coley took it pretty well. Coley tries a right uppercut. Delahoya backs away. Good jab again. Delahoya has the best left jab in boxing, no doubt about it. Interesting statement. No doubt about it. Left jab. That's, if that's the case, does he use it enough? I think not. Tonight he's looking to get over a good left hook, and he's been successful. But get that jab in there, make that back hurt. Those guys back, start backing up because of that jab. After a while, he can just throw hooks easily. Fiercest rally yet by Coley as he comes back against Delahoya. Coley has thrown many more punches in the last minute and a half. Delahoya taking a little bit of a breather in the latter part of round three. Let it go. Let my hands go. You're moving good, but you got to... You hit him with two good jabs, okay? You don't like them jabs, okay? Come on, put a little more combination together, Dave. Hold on, Sam. Put a little combination together. Where's that, that right hand when you come in? You, you got him turning now. You, you got him turning. Make him turn. He's all balanced. He, he, make him turn. Make him turn, okay? And give me a punch of round you go first, and then you go to the body. Don't, don't start on the top. Start with the jab, go to the body, and then go up to the top. You have to think. Relax, relax, and you have to think. You're going to catch him. Coley has said that because he's always been a welterweight, he believes he's stronger than De La Hoya. But those body punches seem to have disabused him of that and he hasn't done much standing and firing. Ironically, a reported part of the fallout from the Trinidad fight, a better relationship between Oscar De La Hoya and his previously hypercritical, sometimes forbidding dad, Joel De La Hoya. Joel De La Hoya is said to have said to Oscar after the Trinidad fight, I'm proud of you. None of Oscar's 31 victories ever produced that response. Now, supposedly, they are on much better terms than before as Joel takes his customary seat near the corner at ringside. Now, Coley, what he's trying to do in his corner is told him, make Oscar go around to the left side and make him pick up his left foot and follow him step by step. There's a hard right hand up the middle and a left hook by Coley and Deloya momentarily stunned. Now Coley shows his power and his willingness to exchange. Coley on the offensive, Deloya not firing back. Coley looking for a knockout. Two rounds earlier than he predicted. He said it would be in the sixth. Deloya ducking, getting out of the way. Coley doing all the firing here. Oscar Deloya is hurt. Daryl Coley caught him by surprise and landed the one-two sharply, and Deloya has not thrown a punch since. Now he goes back to work. I think that Co Coley now has Oscar al alert, like he ought to be, but that's a good thing for Oscar. He's allowed him to waste some of that energy he had been conserving also. Make him punch some. He's getting paid. Make him throw some punches. Hey, did these guys see the Barrera Morales fight last week? Left hook lands for Deloya. Coley wobbling. Oscar goes to the body, sets up a chance. Which fighter will get arm weary first? Oscar's got to get back on the jab. You got him hurt, but keep him hurt with the jab. Another minute to go in the round. Coley's still wobbling, but now De La Hoya begins to rein in his offense after throwing a flurry of punches. Left hook to the body, drives Coley back. Now Coley drives De La Hoya into the ropes. Well, this is what Oscar wants. He wants a mismatch, toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. He's got the power. He's got the knockout. Let it be. Tremendous give and take rounds. Deloy again lands the left hook. And Coley in trouble again. Tremendous 
intense excitement in Madison Square Garden. Oscar De La Hoya was in big trouble in the first half of this round and has come back to dominate the second half of the round. Cole has got his right hand down. Oscar is the left hooker. You want to pick your right hand up and back away. And De La Hoya not only survives, but prospers in a round in which he appeared to be in severe trouble. In almost a replay of that magnificent fight last week between Morales and Barrera, Coley in the fourth round stands and fires, spends himself, his out of bullets, and here comes De La Hoya with his guns. Reminiscent of the fifth round a week ago between Morales and Barrera, reminiscent of the fame, tenth round of Bo Holyfield won November 13, 1992 in Las Vegas. One of those classic seesaw rounds. Coley still doesn't have his legs as De La Hoya begins the attack in round five. That Harold, was a slip. That was a slip. It went over in that corner. Harold, how do you have it through four? Jim, four, four to nothing, 40 to 36. Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar had him seriously hurt at the end of the fourth round. Daryl Coley Fox beautifully for three rounds, but Oscar pounded him to the body to win the first three. Daryl tried to fight Oscar's fight. Did very well, but Oscar seriously hurt him. I have it three rounds to one. I gave the third round to Coley. And the crowd begins to settle back into their seats after the excitement of round four. That's what happened when you are, you're pretty aggressive, but most of your punching is going to the other guy's body. He may open up on you here and there, but hey, it's going to take a lot out of him also. That's why the body punches are so important. Oscar's got to get out of his mind what happened in the last round. Concentrate on this round. Do it all over again. Set it up with a jab. Right hand to get that hook back. And Oscar brings his jab and his left hook to the body. He dominates the flow of the fight. When he stops throwing punches and coasts, he gives Coley a chance. And Coley has been landing with some lead right hands. Coley's with right, the jab. Coley's right hand is almost equal with his left hand as far as down to his waist. It was low originally, but he seemed to get it even lower now. It's those body punches. No question. The body punches changed Coley's stance and his approach in there. There's a solid left hook by Delaware. In close. At this point, Oscar's better concentrate on, hey, this may be a decision. This guy has been abused before. <laughs> And he wakes up, and he may take an abuse for 12 rounds. Coley has a questionable 10. He was...